Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this session, I'll be explaining what do we mean by impulse voltage. Impulse voltage is basically an unidirectional voltage. It is actually an unidirectional unidirectional voltage. Moreover, it rises rapidly. It rises. It rises rapidly to a maximum value. To a maximum value and falls and falls more or less rapidly to zero. More or less rapidly to zero. This is one of the typical impulse voltage waveform. It rises rapidly to maximum value. As you can see, it rises maximum value till maximum value it will be rising. Thereafter, what happens? The wave, the value, the value is actually declining. The waveform is declining. It may be reaching to zero or may not be reaching to zero. Okay. Then there are two segments for impulse voltage. Impulse voltage comprises of two segments. Two segments. The first segment is wavefront, and the second segment is wave tail. Let us have a brief discussion on wavefront and wave tail. So I'll be discussing about wavefront. Wavefront. What do you mean by wavefront? Wavefront is nothing but time taken by the wave. time taken by the wave to reach its maximum value to reach its maximum value starting from zero starting from zero starting from zero you can calculate wavefront that means wavefront time, wavefront time can be calculated very easily by using one formula. That means 1.5, 1.5 multiplied by T2 minus T1, T2 minus T1. You can see this is T2 and this will be T1. So what is T2? Let us define what is T2. T2 is nothing but Time taken to reach 90% of peak value. Time taken to reach 90% of peak value. This is peak value. This will be T2. T2 will be 90%. Time taken to reach 90% of peak value. That is actually T2. Similar I can define T1. What is T1? T1 that means time taken time taken to reach 10% of peak value 10% of peak value look at the diagram time taken to reach C 10% time taken that is T1 T1 means time taken to reach 10% of peak value C this is a peak value this is a 10% of peak value so 1.5 should be multiplied with the difference of T2 and T1 then you will be getting wavefront Next, I'll be discussing what is wave tail. Wave tail. What do you mean by wave tail? That is the second segment of impulse voltage. Wave tail can be defined as time measured between time time measured between the nominal starting point. The nominal starting point that means T naught. This is nominal starting point. T naught is nominal starting point and the point on the wave tail. And the point on the wave tail. Where the voltage is 50% where the voltage 
is 50 percentage of the peak value of the peak value you can calculate wave tail by simple equation wave tail time wave tail time that can be easily calculated by using the formula t3 minus t0 t3 minus t0 t3 minus t0 look at t3 t3 means it's a 50 percentage of the peak value that is t3 c t3 50 percentage of the peak value that is, that is t3 where t0 is the nominal starting point see this point is normal starting point if you calculate t3 minus t0 obviously you will be getting wave tail it is not calculated directly will be calculated indirectly by using the equation so this is about wave run and wave tail i'll be asking one more question towards to you why impulse voltage is required it is mainly applicable for insulation engineering that means to study the effect of to study the effect of transient over voltage transient over voltage generated by generated by lightning or switching operations switching operation on the system it will be mainly applicable in insulation engineering insulation engineering suppose you want to design one insulation material for a particular electrical equipment so during lighting and thundering how about the insulation resistance how about the behavior of insulation during lightning and thundering you know during lightning and thundering bulk amount of impulse voltage bulk amount of impulse voltage will be generating during lightning and thundering or uh, during switching operation uh, bulk amount of impulse voltage will be generated at that time how about the behavior of uh, insulating material whether the insulation is capable do uh, whether the dielectric material whether or whether the insulation materials are capable to withstand uh, those impulse voltage that need to be tested so that impulse voltage has to be generated okay uh, that is the importance of uh, impulse voltage so impulse voltage can be generated by using different techniques one of the simple examples by using impulse generator you can generate uh, impulse waveforms uh, either it may be impulse voltage waveform or it may be impulse current waveforms all right today i would like to conclude the session we have discussed what is impulse voltage it is basically unidirectional voltage it rise it rises rapidly to a maximum value and falls more or less rapidly to zero as uh, similar uh, as that of the figure which i already drawn on the board uh, i have mentioned what is wave front and what is wave tail these are the two segments of impulse voltage waveform uh, how do you calculate wave front and wave tail i have written the equation separately then later i explained the importance of impulse waveform generation why impulse waveforms are required uh, when it has been produced what is the need for uh, impulse voltage generation those things i explained i hope you understood what is impulse voltage and why do you generate impulse voltage what is the necessity all right thanks for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe thank you